I'm so thankful that this all works flawlessly. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be upgrading our toilet. This is a 1976 Airstream that we've completely remodeled. One of the main improvements that we learned quite fast was that our toilet, which is a compost toilet from Nature's Head, fills up with, with our urine pretty fast. And now that our daughter's in here too, and me and my wife, um, it, it fills up, you know, like every other day, which is super annoying. And I have found a solution. So this solves all of our problems. So many people are trying to figure out how to, you know, make this themselves using random parts that they found at Home Depot, where Nature's Head just created it that perfectly fits their toilets. This is our compost toilet, and it's a Nature's Head compost toilet. It separates the liquids from the solids. We've been using it for years now, and actually our, our first video we uploaded has like almost a million views on it. So, I mean, people are, are really wanting information on this toilet. The main Achilles heel of this toilet is that the urine container is not quite big. So it, it fills up pretty fast. A lot of people are trying to solve this problem and I have the best solution. This is a, a, a braided hose. I believe it's an inch and a half. I'm gonna put links to all this stuff below so that you guys can easily access it. And then this hose is gonna go in here. And that's gonna be into our plumbing so that the urine would travel in here and then go down into our tanks. I guess that means it wouldn't really be a gray tank anymore. It's kind of like a black tank, but your solids still stay in the toilet, but your urine would go in your gray tank and then you could just dump it at a regular you know, RV dump site. Take this out. That's a lot of pee. Okay, so this this goes up here. I'll put it all the way up and then screw it in tight. And then our hose is gonna go right in there. And then behind this panel here. So what I did was I very gently cut a section of our PVC drain pipe. Um, and this is where our kitchen sink drains down in here. And then this sink up here also drains over here and it goes this way down into our tank. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this piece. Our urine is gonna go into this tube and drain down into our tank as well. I'll dry up any of the water that came out. And I wanna make sure that this inlet isn't down because then any of our sink water would just drain down into here. I wanna make sure it's up. Thank you gravity for working with us. get this thing open. Is there a trick to this? I don't know about this. I feel like it's cemented shut. It's brand new. It's more slippery. I'm gonna wrap an elastic around here and see if that gives me some more grip. Nope. Oh yeah! You can't handle the vice grips! Guessing. This hose down here is gonna go right into there and I had to make sure that it was flowing this way the same way as the water. You don't want this to be facing the other direction. Oh wow, that seems like it dried pretty fast. Getting closer. Love when projects are almost done. Really, that just means I have to move on to the next project. This is what we got. So you pee in here, and instead of going into the bucket, it now goes into this little hose. I'm very thankful for Nature's Head for creating this little guy so that I didn't have to MacGyver something. It just, it fits and it works perfectly. And this is 
half inch on the inside and then this braided tube goes all the way around and right there and that pipe feeds into our gray tank. Before our toilet was on the floor but I measured it and this height when it was at the floor was lower than was lower than that pipe there. So what would have happened is when we ran our sink that the sink water would have drained into here because gravity would feed to the lowest point. So I actually had to measure it and raise it up um, like six inches so that this would be higher than that and that the water would drain down. So let me show you guys how it works. I'll just use uh, I'll use some mango juice here. So let's go pee, we're peeing, we're peeing. Oh look at that, look at that. So we're peeing, it's going down, going down, going down. But we don't want to see any of that pee. So we would actually pour some water in it. So when we pour some water, then it starts clearing the tube so that you don't see any of that. There's no smell, there's nothing, and the tube is perfectly clear. This is actually full of water right now, but you wouldn't notice because the water's clear, but you could see it when I had the mango juice. We also put some incense in here, so there's like some black spruce right now, so it actually smells really nice. It works! Okay, it's been a few months that we've been using this toilet now, and I really wanted to give it some time so I could give you real world feedback from a lot of uses of this toilet and just how our, our new urine diverter is working. Overall, I'm very happy with how this all turned out. It's working beautifully. It's saving us so much time that we don't have to dump out this bucket and we can go to the washroom as many times as we want. Very quickly I realized that I had to add a clamp here because there was liquid that was that was leaking. Also, I realized that this bucket here was adding support to the toilet. When I removed this, it looked a little cleaner, but the toilet would like rock a little bit back and forth. So I added this back in so that it, it helps stabilize it a little more. The toilet is screwed in to the wood, but still I didn't find that to be enough support so I put this back in and uh, it, it, it's working out great for us. And we have this little spray bottle with some water and essential oils. So after we go pee we just give it a few sprays and it washes any residue away and makes it smell really nice. I'm so thankful that this all works flawlessly. We haven't had any problems, I haven't had any leaks in, in the piping, um, so it makes me know like a few months in I did everything correctly. This is a really easy fix So anyone out there that wants to do this. I hope this video helped I have links to all the products I used in the description box below and we get a tiny little commission out of all the sales We make so thank you in advance if you purchase through any of our affiliate links If you guys like this video be sure to check out our other videos where we put a spa in our tiny house and a full review of our compost toilet. See you guys in our next video.